stopped taking the pill about a month ago. How many times you can use this one before you upgrade to the um, deeper needle? I'll have to ask them. Guys, I've lost my Apple Watch. Do that. So if you just want it half, you can. Oh, so that's what's gonna look like. But obviously, we're gonna put it on the wall. How gorgeous are they? Smooth. Like I didn't realize how hairy I was. These people absolutely infuriate me. Good morning everyone, welcome to another vlog, still got the sniffles, but other than that I feel 100%, it's just the nose, it's fucking annoying because I just want to go to the gym, although it wasn't, like yesterday was probably worse, whereas today it feels like it's finally getting better, Um, but yeah. Good morning. Also, Peter was like, haven't you worn those pajamas for like a couple days? I was like, yeah. He's like, don't you like change them every few days? I'm like, am I meant to? Like, how often do you guys change your pajamas? Like, I think I've worn these, I don't know, maybe five days? Like, is that gross? Like, I get changed out of them pretty much into just like another pair of sweats and a jumper but he's like oh i think he changes his like every couple of days so i'm like you're sleeping in them so like how would you get them dirty it's not like you sweat at night like i probably change them once a week like every time i change my bed i'll just like put my pajamas in the wash and then have like new pajamas when i change my bed i thought that was normal so Maybe I'm like gross. We were planning on going to the gym this morning, but we're just in like the worst sleeping pattern at the moment. Like last night we went to bed at like 1.30, like for no reason. And it's literally because I don't have to be up at a certain time and either does he, unless he's working. Um, but yeah, like it's really bad. Like I still like to get up at 7.30 every morning, even though I don't necessarily have to be somewhere. It just puts me in a good mood and it gets shit done when I wake up that early like whereas now it's 9 30 and I'm like uh, it's almost lunch I just can't be fucked so yeah like I like getting up early going to the gym getting that over and done with coming home having to do what I need to do go check the post office while I'm out whereas now I still need to go to the post office um, yeah it's just annoying so I think I'm gonna have to go to bed and train my, like go to bed like earlier each night so I can get back into the routine because I woke up at 7 30 this morning and I like just automatically turned off my alarm and I was like there's no way like my eyes hurt whereas before like sometimes I'd wake up before my alarm or I'd wake up on my alarm and I would like automatically just wake up so I need to change that because I just feel gross when I wake up at 9 30 like that's just fucked well I didn't wake up at 9 30 I woke up at 9 and I've just, yeah, I've just been on my bed on my phone the whole time. But yeah, that's a little update. Um, happy Monday. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to weigh in every Monday just because, like, I'm firstly not focusing on the scales. Like, I don't actually want to lose weight on the scales. I would rather see what my body looks like, you know? Like, I'd rather see changes in my body than changes on the scales because, like I said, couldn't give a fuck if I'm the same weight by the end of this eight week challenge, but if my body's changed, then that's what I'll be happy with. So I think, yeah, in three weeks from now, I'll take more pics and see if they're any different, if I feel different, whatever. Um, but yeah, this time around, not focusing on the scales. Like I said last week, it's a good, um, like if you are focusing on weight loss, it's a good guide, but I definitely wouldn't weigh yourself every week. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go wake up Peter, have a coffee. What's on my plan? I'm going to choose another day, I think. Um, there's lots of smoothies on the plan, which to be honest, like I love smoothies, but not for winter. Like, I'll show you guys what the, um, you know, how I skipped that boiled egg snack. So this is the new um, snack, celery and peanut butter or almond butter. So yeah. It's really good and it's really quick as well. 
Oh, that quinoa chicken dish is literally my favorite. I had it yesterday actually for dinner. So I'm probably gonna have that for lunch because I weighed out the correct amount for lunch. Um, yogurt and berries, and then yeah, chicken quinoa mixed veggies. Yum, I'm gonna have that for lunch or dinner. Um, not really keen on the protein shake in cottage cheese though. Like I'm just liking cottage cheese on rice ends, but in a shake, that's not right. So I've just skipped that. I'm just looking at what I can have for breakfast. Yeah, see, almond butter and spinach smoothie. It's actually really yum, but like it's freaking freezing. Um, I'm gonna go wake up Peter and have breakfast. <music> Just went and picked up a few things from my P.O. box. Oh my God, how cute is this? At first I was like, oh cute. They've just sent me like a smaller version of the one that I have, which is I think one point something liters. Um, and I was like, oh cute. They've sent me like the 600 mil. And then I realized, look, they've put little angel wings on it. So cute. It's like, it's like a silverish type color. Same as this, so this one's the Times New Roman font. I also got a package from a brand called Sahara Soul. How freaking cute. Local Perth girl based in Wanneroo. I wanted to gift you our unique brown based range. Wow, that paper's actually really nice. Thank you so much. So self tanning foam chocolate brown base. And then this is the tanning mist. So cool, thank you so much. And then this little handmade jewelry brand reached out called Be Kind Jewelry and they make little handmade beads. They're based in Bondi. How cute. Love this so much. Thank you so much, guys. Um, also, I do have a code for Move bottles. It's just Jazz 10. Yeah, Jazz 10 for 10% 10 off. And then this is just my little grocery haul. I tried these a few days ago before gym, well, last week. This one in particular, and it was really nice. The only thing I don't really like about protein yogurts is like the aftertaste. Like it does have a little bit of a proteiny aftertaste, but it's actually really nice other than that. Um, these are the macros on the back, if it wants to focus. Okay, they're the macros. 130 cal, 7.8 carbs, 4.3 sugars. So that I've already tried before the caramel crunch. And then I haven't tried this one. It's just a little bit higher in carbs and sugar. So it's 11.3 carbs and 4.1 sugars. But this is the um, vanilla cookie crunch flavor. Got some um, mints, got some snapper, some more bread for pita. This is my favorite Aldi unsweetened almond milk. And then I decided to get some decaffeinated black tea because I like to have it at night. Um, and just so I'm not having more caffeine and then just some eggs. This is my lunch. Leftover couscous, some chicken breast, and then I just put some Greek yogurt in with it. So yum. Wow, so I just finished that derma roller. So I just finished sanitizing it and then I'm gonna put it back in here. Just had to let it dry. So this is, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys today when I got it. Um, the face at derma roller. So yeah, it's basically like a roller with a little needle with so many um, skincare benefits. So this is the little chart that it came with. So so I've got the first one, which is 0 0.5, and that treats color light spots, fine lines, acne scars, light scars, open pores, and then 
obviously like the deeper you go the more that they target so as you can see from the table um, I just did this mask as well it was like a gold sort of um, not a sheet mask but it's like one of those same sort of consistency as under eye masks so I did that I left it on for about 40 minutes and then I just took it off just now and I've just massaged the rest of the serum into my skin it looks so freaking glowy so I've obviously didn't vlog the rolling but I will next week so they do recommend to do it once a week so I'll definitely let you guys know my results I don't know how many times you can use this one before you upgrade to the um, deeper needle I'll have to ask them but yeah I started off with a 0.5 my skin does feel really really hydrated and glowy though um, yeah this pimples slowly going away and then I've got like two blind pimples here so weird but um yeah that's my skin ATM loving it um but yeah I'll definitely keep you guys updated with the derma roller morning guys I'm feeling good today got up feeling good we're gonna go do a body step class well not we because Peter's there's no chance he would do a body step class for me I am breaking out here if you can see but it is coming up to that time of the month anyway so that's a little bit normal ish for me like i'll always get like one i don't really get this many but yeah i'm just leaving them don't pop your pimples because you could get scars especially if you've got fake nails i was guilty of that when i had my acrylics on i'd always go in and like squeeze all my blackheads and everything on my face and yeah it's not good it's just best to leave it even though like it looks gross just leave your pimples do its thing leave it alone um what i do like to do is apply the body shop i think it's like eucalyptus oil it's really really good it like dries up any active breakout so i've been putting that on each night um but yeah i'm just about to make peter some eggs i might eat when i'm back because i'm not really feeling hungry so i might just have a coffee but yeah i will chat to you guys later so i lied i'm making well i made oats protein oats I mix a bit of egg whites in. I've never actually done it in the microwave and it was alright. It just makes it a bit fluffier. But I did the egg whites on the stove yesterday and it was really good. And then just a coffee. We're vacuuming our headboard and there's so much dust on the floor. Like, can you see that? Yuck. I mean, just to see how much is going to be in the vacuum. You said you had it on on Sunday. I had it on on Saturday. Well, why'd you say last Saturday, Saturday morning, night? sorry. Uh, Guys, I've lost my Apple video. Watch. We're going up. through my vlogs, like last weekly vlog, to see when I last had it on. And it was um, that morning that I was talking about um, the robbery. Well, not the robbery, but like thinking that we're getting robbed. It was that morning and I got HelloFresh and it was Saturday. And was it Saturday night we went to drop oh, Tanisha right. off? Okay. Oh, so you have to rewatch the vlog. You showed the wrong part to me. Oh. No, it was. It's that was Friday. the last time Saturday, and then you that's it. That? And then I ended the vlog, and I didn't have it on. I remember. You remember before that vlog we just watched is on a Friday because we took Tanisha that same day. That it was. Friday. Yeah, but then the next day after when I came, on, I didn't yeah. have it on, and that's when I did all of my organising of my wardrobe. Did you check the morning on of Sunday. The, do the morning of the Saturday vlog. I don't have morning footage of Saturday vlog. Surely you would. You always wake up and do something. So yeah, the last time we had it was Saturday, Sunday. No, yes, Saturday. Sunday I wasn't wearing it when I was doing my wardrobe. So we've looked underneath the bed. We've looked everywhere. It didn't wear it yesterday because I didn't go to the gym. Don't know. Three hours later. Guys, I found it. It was in my trackies in the wash. Peter even said that at the beginning. He's like, just check the washing basket. And I'm like, dude, I'm not that stupid. Turns out I am that stupid because that's where it was. And also so many DMs said that as well. And I only just had the chance like not long ago, like just before I found it to go through just to see everyone's suggestions by the way thank you so much i got like literally over i would have to say 200 
DMs, like just of suggestions on where it could be. Some people said like, you know, underneath or behind my bed, underneath the car seat. Um, yeah, just like so many suggestions that I wouldn't even think of looking. So thank you so much. And yes, one of the suggestions was check your trackies. Specifically, someone said check your trackies in the wash. And I was like, Pfft. and it was in my cream boohoo trackies. <gasps> Honestly, thank God, because we even went to the extent of going through the bins, both recycling and normal bin outside. And it was foul. I was like, surely I'm not going through the bins. And he's like, you never know. You probably, what if you were like unboxing something and it fell off in like the box and you just, you've just put it in the recycling bin with like, I don't know, everything else. And I'm like, surely not. So yeah, we went through the bins for no fucking reason. <laughs> oh, at least I found it. I'm happy now. Um, I'm going to go and clean my makeup room. I just, yeah, I just need to clean it because I just, every time I go to film a tutorial or like film stories or something, I hate when it's all cluttered and messy. So I'm going to go clean it. Then I'm expecting um, a very exciting parcel. Not sure if I can share, but you'll obviously know very soon. Um, but yeah, but I'd update you guys. Going to go to the gym this afternoon. We're going to go do a body, yeah, body pump class. We were going to do body step this morning, but like I got the text that the delivery was coming today and I just wanted to be home because someone has to sign for it. So I just thought I would skip the gym in the morning and go in the afternoon. Thank God, because otherwise I wouldn't have had my Apple watch and I maybe wouldn't have found it if I went to the gym. But yeah, I'm gonna go clean my makeup room. I'll show you guys the before. I've already started very slightly. Okay, this is my makeup room. This is what I'm working with. Yeah, I've done like half of it, but I really want to organize that and like find home because yeah, it's just so like even that, like all my new stuff, um, chuck them in its homes. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do this now and I'll show you guys the after. By the way, oof, I need to clean the mirror. Um, this whole vanity desk and lights are from Etoile. <laughs> That's the name. Etoile. And all of my organizers and stuff are from there too. Oh, need to organize that. <laughs> Got organizers, but still not organized. Trust me. But yeah, this side is a lot more organized. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do for the next probably hour or so. How cute. Look what we just put together. This has literally been in pieces in my makeup room for like six months. But I just haven't had... The chance to, it's just been like in this little corner, but I'm revamping my little beauty room, decluttering. I've just, yeah, you saw how much stuff is on the floor. Need to tackle that now. Um, just put the cords away so they're nice and tidy. But yeah, I just used the Kmart vinyl for the sides. Didn't bolt it on the wall or anything, but I'm not going to have anything overly heavy on it. Just kind of like bits and pieces. Like here are all my James Cosmetic stuff. And I'm going to do one of these eye masks tomorrow morning, I think. But yeah. Hi. Haven't vlogged at all today. Oh my god. Had the craziest night last night. Fuck. Okay, that'll do. Anyways, yeah. Had the craziest night last night. In a good way. Got... Um, some more samples and part of my bulk order. So happy. Not so happy with some of the samples, but like obviously you win some, you lose some. Just some of them just didn't work, like the sizes, the designs, but that's all good. So yeah, back to the drawing board for some, but they're meant to be released like for the next drop. Obviously, I do have all of my designs for the first drop. Pretty much already, except we just needed to make a minor change, which is coming next week. So she couldn't ship them all um, in the same package because they weren't done. So next week I will be getting pretty much every final product so that I can book in the shoot. By the way, look at my three pimples. <gasps> Fuck, my skin has never been like this. Although, I don't think I've told you guys this, but um, I did want to eventually tell you guys, but... I stopped taking the pill. Hold on. That's better. Yeah, so I stopped, ta stopped taking the pill about a month ago. 
Um, sorry, I just went to the gym. I went and did body pump and just got back, made a smoothie, washed my hair because I'm going to go get my nails done. Thank God. After this. So... Yeah, I'm just really quickly doing a face and then I need to blow dry my hair. But yeah, as I was saying, I jumped off the pill um, after about how many years? Literally been on the pill for so long. The reason why I went on the pill in the first place was because of my skin. Um, but obviously back then when I was, you know, 16 or 17, I wasn't very healthy. So I just thought maybe I will try get off it and see how my skin reacts i wasn't on it for contraceptive reasons mainly for my skin um and yeah well since my new like healthy lifestyle and stuff like that i thought i would see how my skin would react and i feel like this is the result of it although i am getting like i am due to get my period soon like i literally had my last period like 28 days ago so it is going to be really interesting to see if my periods become regular probably not like straight away just because like the reason why i also um went on the pill was because i got a regular periods like i did get them like every i don't know sometimes every three months sometimes every five months like i would literally never get them and when i got them they were like crazy so i went on there to regulate that and then my skin um honestly I thought my skin would blow up more because I did try to get off the pill about two years ago. Like I just tried and my skin, oh my God, was so bad. Like I literally had to go back on it because of it. I was so self-conscious and I was like, nah, you know, and that was when I, before I started keto. Um, yeah. So just before I started keto, I tried to go off the pill again. And my skin just flared the fuck up. So it's very interesting to see what it's going to be like. Like, I feel like these are just hormonal pimples from maybe getting my period soon, hopefully. But yeah, it's been 28 days since not taking the pills. So I will definitely keep you guys updated. Personally, for me, I didn't see a change in my mood or behavior being on the pill. Like, I never got angry well, i never really got really bad periods um like i never really got cramping or anything like heavy like it was just very normal um which i'm very lucky about um i also was diagnosed with pcos when i was around that age as well but i'm really curious to see if keto has helped it um i don't get any thank god i don't get any symptoms having PCOS I don't get any pains or anything like that like I don't even know that I have it so next time I go to the doctors I'm gonna see if they can um check me out and see if I still have PCOS because I have heard of stories where people have like cured it from being keto or low carb so that would be really interesting and I'll definitely keep you guys updated um but yeah other than that like my skin is still the same it's just those three pimples there and then as you saw i had that one there but it's kind of cleared up um but i definitely think that is a result of not being on the pill like i feel like i wouldn't have them if i was on the pill but yeah i just wanted to like regulate my hormones naturally without putting a pill in my body every day um so yeah that's where i'm at i'm gonna go finish my makeup because if i keep talking I'm not going to finish it in time. I have to leave here in literally half an hour and I haven't even finished my makeup and my hair and I still need to film a TikTok. So yeah, I will speak to you guys later and I'll show you guys what I ended up getting on my nails as well. Just got back from Luna Nail Bar. I just shot a few pics in this new dress from Lounge. It's actually really nice. Um, these are my nails. Look at them. They're like clouds. Okay, well, you can't really see. Ooh! Yes! Oh my god, it's actually massive. You're holding it. How's that going to fit on the wall? <gasps> okay, um. What? Ein bisschen anders. 
เฮ้ยฟักเตอร์เลยนะอ๋อโอ้อมายโกเลยว้าวว้าวลูกเขียนจะฟักยังไงล่ะ Oh my god, that is so pretty. I love the little sparkles. I thought, you know, to jazz it up a bit. But they literally made my logo. How cool is that? And it's a bright white color. I was going to get pink, but I feel like white would look way better. So let's test it out. Oh my god, exciting. It's literally perfect. It's actually massive. Yeah, that's a little remote control. I, I think you batteries. have to, yeah, I've got batteries. Wow. Look at that. I'm so happy with it. So again, I got it from Custom Neon. They were previously called Neon Collections, I think. But yeah, Custom Neon. I'll leave all the links as well. And I think they're going to give me a discount code. So, Ooh, so nice. Oh, my God. Oh, you're joking. I think it's going to get the press. Right. Oh, it's like tripping out on the vlog because it's like, it's like going all fuzzy. There's like heaps of different settings as well. Can you turn it down a little bit? Oh, that's good for the vlog. Wow, so that's what's gonna look like. But obviously, we're gonna put it on the wall because that's just resting on my desk like that. This one, ten percent. Ten. Yeah. Maybe put it on the brightest. Put it on the brightest. Let's have a look. Oh, I just let it do its thing. So. Wow, I love it. How have they done it? Mind blowing. This is our progress. We're actually doing quite well, you know? We've done all the corners, all the edges, and now we're working on, well, I'm working on this section. What are you doing? The top. Looking for one piece. <laughs> so frustrating when you're trying to find one thing. Good morning from my little office. Oh, may I have just given away some sneak peeks. Oh, I'm watching Riley. Um, this is what I'm wearing today. We're going to Sadie's again to kind of like talk to them about other cars and other options and stuff like that. Not sure if I'm going to test drive any today, but we're just going to go back and see if there's any other options. Because like I was set on the GLC, but apparently the GLE is good as well. So we're just going to go check it out, see if they've got them there but yeah i'm wearing boohoo just one of their basic crops this one's a size eight i probably would feel more comfortable in a 10 usually like their basics are pretty good but this is rib so that's probably why it feels a little bit more firm um so yeah i definitely would recommend going maybe like mm, i guess like normal size like i am size eight to ten i guess in top so yeah i'd probably feel more comfortable in a 10 but still nice and then these joggers are also boohoo they're so comfy Size um, 10 in these. If you wanted a more oversized fit, defs go up a size. But I kind of like them fitted like this when you're wearing a crop. And then these shoes are from Drip Creations. Yeah, on Instagram. They literally painted them. What do you mean? Um, yeah, makeup really, really minimal today. I popped this pimple, which I probably shouldn't have, but it was just pissing me off. Because it was like, I had a white head and I was like, surely I can't go out like that. Um, yeah, yesterday I jumped on my stories and spoke about my studs. Because I did get samples for my flat back studs. Sorry, ball back. So as you can see, I made, you can't even see that. I did get samples for my studs. So I've got two designs of the studs. I've got butterflies and then a flower. Um, and I just wanted balls just because it's more comfortable to sleep in and obviously with like piercings like this you don't normally take them in and out like every day well i don't anyways um and because all of my pieces are sterling silver based you can keep them in without them tarnishing or going green so yeah i, I think i will have two options on the website i probably will have like a butterfly clip option because it's a longer rod obviously earlobes um are thicker therefore you will need like a longer rod but the reason why I decided to go for a shorter rod for the ball backs is so it just looks a little bit cleaner and I've had a Travis ring before and the rod's just been too big and it sticks out the back and it just doesn't really look cute. So 
yeah, with the tragus, I'll see if I could flip you guys around so you can see. Hold on. Can you even see that? I can't even, I can't see myself, but see how it's like, sort of like perfect fit. I probably haven't blended my foundation on my ear, so enjoy that. Um, let's focus you back up. So yeah, it's, it's definitely a lot shorter. I will obviously leave all the dimensions and the sizes of everything like in the description on the website when we launch. Um, but yeah, I just liked that shorter rod. And the one thing I do like about the studs is that it's going to be the same thickness. So normally with tragus piercings, it's a, like the rod's a bit thicker. So you can't really put a tragus normally in your lobes because it's too thick, if you get what I mean. Like I have a tragus piercing that's probably double the thickness. Like it does fit in the tragus hole, but I probably wouldn't be able to push it through the lobe so I kind of want my piercings to be as versatile as possible so like I said I, I'm literally wearing an 8mm huggy this is a sample from months ago in my rook and I like that you can either wear them in your rook you could probably wear the 10 centimeter or 12 centimeter huggy in your conch I personally don't have my conch pierced so I can't really test it out but I'm pretty sure Peter's sister has her conch pierced so when I get my stock for the 12 millimeter huggies we'll see if it fits in the conch because it's actually really nice and i also have like the plain and then the cubic zirconia huggies as well um i have had a few messages about diamonds and possibly having a few like limited diamond pieces and i'm definitely down for that i freaking love the thought of it even like really like mini mini diamond studs like how cute would that be like if you had like really small inner corner ears like up here maybe or even here I really want to get like the side I'm, I'm thinking about when I get the stock for my eight millimeter nine karat gold huggies I'm going to go in and get this pierce and then she can change this is just the gold plated one that's in my ear at the moment so I can put like mini mini huggies and like mini like little studs oh it's gonna look so cute um but yeah that's like a little update but i'm just obsessed with my sign oh my god so cute okay well i gotta go um so i will chat with you guys later on okay so we just got home we went to yeah the mercedes dealer we went to a different one to see if they had other models and they unfortunately don't like apparently they're just super busy and they're like don't have any demo models there so it was a bit frustrating um apparently there's a new model coming out that won't be here until like september october even november so i'm just not sure what to do like do i get the 2019 model but not get the car that i like 100 percent want like i do still want to test drive the coupe which i i did test drive a coupe but not in the model that i was thinking of getting so it's just really confusing there's so many different bloody numbers and models so confusing but yeah um so we didn't really get anywhere today like we did cancel out one model that i was possibly thinking of buying the suv it's just massive like i don't feel like it's the right car for me right now fair enough if i had kids or whatever and i needed a bigger car but i think the glc 300 would be a bit better it's just a bit smaller and then the coupe i think is still a little bit more compact than that but yeah we've caught, sort of cancelled out the suvs which is like the gle or something so confusing anyways i came home to some parcels i also got a um parcel from caseify yesterday oh my god the cutest cases i've been obsessed with phone cases recently but you're gonna die when i show you but i'll show you guys that a little later on um, okay, let me set you guys up somewhere. Okay, so a company in Perth called Hail the Kale, and it's a food delivery service. However, they do low carb slash keto meals, and they reached out to me and they were like, "We'd love to send you some meals to try." And I was like, "Of course, <laughs> send them my way." So, oh my god, yum! Oh my goodness! Wow, wow, wow. Okay. The Collie Garang Bowl. I'm pretty sure macros are either on the box or on the um, website. Let's see. No, not on the box. I might have to look on the website for macros. 
Eat your greens chicken curry with cauliflower rice. That looks yum. Oh my god, vegan smoky jack bowl. I'm gonna have one of these for lunch. Um, collie garang bowl with clean satay sauce. I think that's tofu. Is it? Or maybe it's cauliflower. Wow. And then this is the Eat Your Greens chicken curry. All natural, sugar-free, gluten-free. It's just like, I don't know, it just looks really fresh and just like wholesome. Like there's no crap in these meals. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. So this is their Instagram, Hail the Cow, but I'll let you guys know um, how they go. But thanks guys for sending that. Okay, here are the cases that I got. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous are they? Amazing. So these three cases I customized myself. I will leave a link and everything down below for you guys if you guys want to check them out. But yeah, I got this one. So this one is their like thicker cases. So they do have this in like the glitter cases or if you've seen like the moving liquid, like in the neon colors. Um, they've got so many different prints and patterns of these styles. So again, these are probably the thickest case that they have and you can also customize them with anything you want. Literally any word, there's so many fonts and styles that you can choose. You can place it anywhere. You can place them in the middle, on the side. You can rotate it so it looks like that, if you get me. Um, but yeah, I got this one in this like dried flowers, like gold, rose gold, like foiling. It's really pretty. So this one is their Ultra Impact case, which is probably my favorite because it's the slimmest and most protective case basically in the world. Like it's actually got military grade protection. Like you can drop it from 6.6 .6 feet or something like that and it won't crack. And I can definitely vouch for that because the amount of times I've dropped my phone when I have a case to fire case on, especially this impact one, I've never had any issues with cracking or anything like that. Like it's actually amazing. Yeah, they're the best for protection wise. Like I'm so clumsy. So I'm actually so glad to have a new one. So I did actually customize this. So I just used the cloud design. So I'll show you guys on the website in a sec, but this is just like their normal cloud design, but you can actually customize the background so you can have it literally, there's so many different colorways that you can choose as well as like the bumpers, like you could choose pink, I think there's blue, yellow, um, but I chose white to go with the cloud theme. And then I chose the iridescent um, like holographic background, which looks really cute. And then I just chose this one, um, not a custom one, but it was just on their website. It's a collab with um, the M Jewelers. It's like a leather, leather case and I love the gold detailing and then the rose gold buttons. It's so cute, but I mainly got it because there's cherubs. I found this case so freaking cool because it's actually made 100% of bamboo based material. So this case is 100% biodegradable and decompostable. How cool is that? So obviously obsessed with lilac. So I had to get the lilac color and it's just got my name engraved just really lightly in the center there. Again, you can customize the font, the style and everything like that, as well as the color. Absolutely love this one. So the one thing I love about these ones is that they actually plant a tree through Earth Day's network as a part of their three initiatives to lighten our overall footprint by 2025. How amazing is that? Like who would have thought this was made out of bamboo materials. Like I wouldn't have noticed. They've given me a 20% off code that you guys can use on their website. Um, and I'll leave all the links and everything you need to know in the description box down below anyways. But yeah, thank you so much Caseify for sending those over and sponsoring this part of the video. Okay, let's answer some questions on my last vlog. Let's bring it up. My room is such a mess. I need to clean that after I film this. Um, okay, we've got a couple cues. Will you be able to release the prices of your pieces before they're released on the website so people can save their money until and for the drop? Of course. That's actually something that I am discussing now, just writing down all the figures and all the numbers. And yeah, that's definitely something that I will release as soon as I can. Basically, as soon as I can figure out the prices. Um, I do have like a price point in mind i don't want to say it yet in case i don't know it's wrong or i feel like it's too high or too low i'm not sure because i still need to like compare it to the market as well so yeah i will definitely 100 percent let you guys know before the launch or as soon as i have figured out all the prices for everything um i will definitely let you guys know 
would you go back to F45 and also would you do intermittent fasting again? Um, I, f I personally think I prefer body pump like at Good Life just because they have so many different variations of classes. So they've got like body step, body combat, booty bar, um, body pump, which is like what I'm obsessed with. Um, what else do they have? Like body attack, which is cardio. Um, body balance, which is like yoga and Pilates. Like they've got so many different variations of exercises. Whereas I feel like F45 is like weights, cardio, weights, cardio. Like I know that it's different like each time, but it's basically the same thing. Whereas with like, like the Les Mills classes, it's always different. Like, and you can challenge yourself as well with your weights. You can be like, okay, well last week I did blah 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 on the bar I'm gonna try and up my way and you know challenge myself to do better whereas with F45 I don't know it's like not gonna lie I freaking love F45 I'm not saying I don't like it but I think for me right now I personally prefer body pump because of the like the different classes that you can go to as well and like I like that it's like in a gym so you can like go do some steps after or even before get your steps in cool down warm up whereas F45 is just like in and out um, yeah I'm not really planning on going back anytime soon because I'm liking my workout routine at the moment and as for intermittent fasting I sometimes even just do it subconsciously like there's there can be nights where I will be eating until like 10 p.m. if I'm like snacking or something or having an ice cream or if I feel like one and then I'll like eat like normal 10 or 11 but most of the time I will finish eating around 8 or so like I'll have my dinner have my dessert and I won't have anything past 8 o'clock and then some days like I don't even have breakfast I'll just skip to lunch so then like some days I'm just like subconsciously fasting without even like thinking about it because I'm so used to it weird question but do you ever or have you ever shaved your peach fuzz I'm interested your skin looks so smooth would you recommend I actually I have before I've shaved my upper lip um before and once I have actually shaved here big mistake maybe I did it wrong but like I think I did it like a couple years ago now maybe like three years ago and I used one of those like little yeah like face shavers that I think I got from eBay or Dazer or some like cheap shop and yeah like I tried to shave some of my face I was like wow this is amazing it's so smooth like I didn't realize how hairy I was then when I went to put foundation on like you could literally see where like it started and ended because I didn't do my whole face so I was like, wow, why did I just do that? Like you can literally tell, like especially here as well, like you could tell where it, like the head cut off. And I was like, oh my God, like am I gonna have to shave my whole face now? So yeah, that kind of like put me off it, but I haven't really found the need to shave my face. I know a lot of people do. Um, I haven't actually shaved my upper lip since then as well. Like I just feel like I don't need to, but yeah, I'm sure there's like YouTube videos or people out there that do. I mean, if it works for them, if you have any tips on it, leave them down below so everyone can read them. Maybe I did it wrong. But yeah, I don't shave my face. Are the nine karat gold earrings going to tarnish and will there be any sort of warranty on them if they do? Okay, so like nine karat solid gold should not tarnish at all. If your nine karat gold, 18 karat gold, 24 karat gold pieces are going green, they're not gold. It will 100% be a warranty on my um, pieces as well, which will be on the website so you guys can read that. In saying that about tarnishing, all of the other pieces that I will have are sterling silver based. So sterling silver can tend to tarnish. Um, it just depends on like where you keep them. Like I said in my last vlog, silver does tend to like oxidize naturally. It's just that's just what silver does. Although if you keep wearing your silver earrings or you wear them more than you don't wear them, they'll oxidize slower, if that makes sense. So you might notice that if you've had a silver earring in for years, maybe months, and you take it out, the inside of it would have oxidized. It's probably a really dark color. That's normal. All of my gold plating pieces are sterling silver based and then they're nine karat gold plated and they're actually plated with two microns so that's like the thickness of the plating which is actually quite thick um just so they last as long as they can 
Um, like I said, with the gold plating, like the rose gold and the gold plating are both plating, obviously. Um, and yeah, so they won't tarnish underwater, although it is recommended and you'll see it everywhere. A lot of jewelry companies do say to take it off before showering, going to the beach, going exercising, um, just to like ensure that they like remain shiny because like they will come really shiny. They'll actually come pretty similar to what the nine karat gold pieces will look like. Um, but like the only real difference is the nine karat gold will never um, lose its shine really. It'll pretty much stay in the same condition as what you bought it in. But yeah, depending on like basically how you care for them, um, they shouldn't go green or tarnish, but they will maybe fade in color. Will you be shipping internationally? I live in the US and I really want to be able to support you once your brand goes live. Honestly, it means so much when you guys message me that. Like literally, I just had tears in my eyes reading that. Um, I'm literally going to be a bloody big ball of a mess when I launch and I see people ordering. Well, I hope they do. Um, definitely will be um, shipping worldwide. I think there is a few that I won't be to start off with, but hopefully um, in the future I will be um, shipping worldwide. Um, it's just, it gets so expensive shipping worldwide. Um, as you may have known, if you do shop online and you do get stuff from overseas, like pretty sure like most of the flat rates are like 25 to 30 dollars it can be even more depending on where you are um but yeah i definitely will be because i know i do have a lot of like us or uk um followers especially so definitely will be having that available for you guys when i launch what are your ring sizes and are they equivalent to pandora ring sizes i'm actually not sure what their sizing chart is but i basically um based my ring sizes off like the universal ring sizing chart so um i will definitely have that on the website as well for you guys to double check but you basically all you have to do is just grab a ring that fits you and like a size that you like and you just have to measure like the inside i think it's called the diameter so you just measure the diameter of the ring and it'll be in millimeters and then like i will do a table up on the website and be like size five equals Blah, 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 millimeters. I also recommend if you are in between sizes to go up a size, especially the vanity rings, um, just because it's just going to fit more comfortably on your finger. Um, so yeah, definitely if you are in between sizes and you're not sure, definitely just go up a size. What kind of editor are you using for your videos? And usually how long does it take you to edit these videos? And has anyone else ever edited a video for you before? Okay, I have inquired about like ages ago when I was doing like predominantly makeup videos to like send it off to someone and then have them edit it real cool. But I was like, they don't know my angles. They don't know what I, what like if they're not into makeup, they wouldn't know what angles look good, what maybe what to include. So I was like, oh, that might be just a bit risky, too hard. Like what if I hate how they've edited it? So I was like, nah, I'll just stick to editing my own videos. As for vlogs, no one's ever edited my vlogs before I, I would find that really weird <laughs> someone editing my vlogs um but yeah it takes me about like I said maybe from start to finish about three hours so I have to like import all the footage first go through it all edit it and then like I'll take out the ums and the ahs and like if I've got like long pauses and stuff like that but usually it's pretty easy because I don't really edit that much out of my videos unless I'm like struggling for words or I don't know I have a hiccup or something, I don't know. But yeah, like I obviously do edit my videos. Um, I wish I could just do a one take and like every freaking frame I film. Sometimes it's like that though, like I'll film a whole like four minute frame and I'm like, that'll do, chuck it in. Um, like especially in like my Q and A's, like I feel like I don't really edit them as much because I'm just like, I feel really relaxed and chilled. Like whereas if I'm like, I don't know, trying to explain something, I can kind of like mix up my words and I'm like, huh, how do I word this? So it's like in the simplest way possible. Um, so yeah, sometimes I have to edit those kinds of clips, I guess. But yeah, it probably takes me like three hours from start to finish. Um, it's quite easy. I use Final Cut Pro, although I did use iMovie for years. I definitely recommend that if you're starting up with editing, it's free and it's just like a really basic form of editing. Like it's so easy to understand. Final Cut Pro is basically the same but it's just you can just do more technical stuff 
Um, it did get me a while to get used to at first. I was like, why have I paid $500 when I could literally just do the same thing on iMovie? Then I realized why most YouTubers use Funnel Cut Pro. Um, but yeah, it, yeah, about three hours it probably takes me. Where did you get your bowls from that you have your brekkie in? Do you mean my marble ones or the little like coconut bowl? So the coconut bowl I got in a PR package from <sighs> New Life. I don't know, I got it in a PR, maybe more life. I don't know, I got it in a PR package. That's the coconut bowl that I have like my granola in, but my marble bowl is from Kmart. And I think just my white bowl is from Maya. I think I got it in a set. But yeah, I think you're talking about the coconut bowl. But yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe you could type it into Google, coconut look bowl or granola bowl, and you might be able to find one on like on a website. Okay, I feel like they are the most popular questions. I'm going to go heat one of those meals up that I got um, earlier. I also did um, ask them for macros just because I'm tracking at the moment. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. So they sent me the Thai green curry, cauliflower, um, nazi goreng, and the smoky jack bowl. Um... No, oh, I actually did not expect them to be that low in carbs. So the Thai green curry is 358 cows, 11 carbs, 25 fat, and 30 protein. Oh, my God. I'll definitely try those meals out. Okay. These people absolutely infuriate me. Like, when people try to DM me and say, we can make your engagement 10 times better than it is, um... Basically asking if I want to buy their services. So my Instagram basically looks fake. Th that's that's what it comes down to. Um, look at like all these messages from this one person. Like for example, hi, I hope I'm not disturbing. Well, you are. Just want to say that I'm here to discuss possible ways of partnership. Let me know if you have time for this. The activities of your followers could be way higher. I suggest you raise your position to attract new followers and advertisers. Is this relevant for you? And then I said, no, I do not need your service. Thank you anyway. They still kept going. Let me write for you what I'm proposing. Let me explain what is happening. Your statistics have fallen significantly in development and your followers are starting to unfollow you. Cool. They can unfollow me if they want. Like, that's just how it works. Do you want everything to continue to fall or would we fix it for you? Like, what do you mean? Oh my god, I actually already said no thanks to that. Hello, maybe you missed my message. You're cool on Instagram, right? No need to, for us... No need for your personal... Okay, they can't even smell. No need your personal data or password. That is not cheating, fakes, and bots. There is an opportunity here. Are you interested? Literally said no thanks. They've gone, did you know that you are hidden from the newsfeed and your followers don't see your content? Cool story, bro. Like, no. Like, just... I'm literally just saying no. Like, no. Literally no. Like, they don't stop. Like, surely they get the point when I haven't replied to two or three messages. Like, I'm not interested. If people want to unfollow me, if people don't see my page, that's just Instagram. That's life. I'm not paying for that. Like, if people want to see my content, they'll come to my page. They'll search my page. If they want to see my stories, they'll search me up if it doesn't come up for some reason. You know? Like... And the thing is, like, it is probably a scam. It's not even a company. It's literally, like, his name is, like, Anta Undergravener. And his profile is private. And he literally has a picture of him and his wife, probably fake, with her holding flowers. Like, the account that he's sent me that from is just, like, a, it looks like a fake account. Like, how... Can you possibly pay someone when their account looks like that? Like, fair enough if it was a business or whatever, but, like, you are a scam. If you're watching this, Ahmed. What's your name again? Anta. Stop DMing me. <laughs> it's not just him as well. There's, like, girls that message me as well. Like, you're losing followers daily. Like, awesome. Thanks <laughs> for reminding me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go. I've been... I've, I've been filming for 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to go clean up this room. I need to film a haul. 
I need to clean my kitchen. Well, I guess I should go now. <laughs> I'll chat with you guys later anyways. Oh my God, I'm having the Thai green curry. I thought it'd be spicy, but it's actually not. Mmm. Yum. It tastes so healthy and fresh. Oh my God, it's just like I was craving something like this. Just like clean freaking food. Amazing. It's actually really nice. Look what I just got. The new winter essentials range from Stax that are launching tomorrow. So I'm going to open this up and show you guys what's inside. I might even do a little try on haul. Let's open this up. Oh, that's so soft. So I've got a small. So like I said in my stories, if you watch them, um, all of the winter collection with Stax is made to be oversized so shop your normal size so i'm normally a small so shop the small so don't think oh i really want the oversized hoodie to be oversized i'm gonna get a large don't do that because it'll literally be swimming on you um so yeah just shop your normal size so this is a size small and so these are actually a little bit longer than normal crew neck jumpers um so they do go past the bum so i've seen so i will try that one on obviously i'll try them all on um about this one. Ooh, this is a bit fancy. They've got new packaging for their hoodies. Comes with like a little keep bag. That's actually really cool. Really awesome for traveling, like to keep all your clothes and stuff organized. So that's really cool. I'm gonna lay them out really nicely on the floor. So I can take a cute pic. So this is their best black hoodie. This is in a size extra small to small, I think. Yeah. So extra small to small, like like you can see, it literally is so massive. So I'll try it on. Um, so there's that one. And then they've got the same one in grey, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So same hoodie in grey. And then the back says Stax Official. So excited. I just tried on the... <laughs> the gray jumper and I didn't even vlog it because I was busy doing stories but this is the jersey I'm just taking my extensions out <sighs> it is so soft and I love that it's really long like you could probably wear this as a dress with some tights wearing my ones that are launching soon or you could bunch it up like this and just wear it like that I probably could get away with an extra small I think this one is a small but no nah, dead and you could also just do the little trick and have it like this i love it <sighs> i love it so much it's so warm i'll try on the hoodie i'll just try on the gray because it's literally the same as the black but yeah absolutely love these so they will be available as you're watching this um and i have a discount code it's just jh10 and it gets you 10 percent off black Peter's in the grey, cute. We actually have the same size on, can you believe that? What size is this? That's uh, extra small women, small guys. I'm so, why is it so, so it's just, yeah, because it's oversized. Oh. But I, I said to them that you like, like yours fitted. So I don't reckon you would have liked a medium. But yeah, like I said, yeah, oversized. I tucked mine underneath my crop, so it kind of just looks like a normal jumper. Or it looks like this. A dress. Yeah, <laughs> jumper <laughs> dress. Okay, so got my protein bar here oh my god you can see the mess in my room I'm gonna do like a live how to edit using color tone okay I've started screen recording my phone so this is what you can see on my color tone so as you can see I have so many random photos on here they're actually from you guys so last night on my Instagram I asked if you guys could send me some photos whether it was of the beach selfies photos of things decor um yeah so i wanted to edit your photo so i could like show you how versatile each of the packs are so as i said there's going to be three packs the selfie pack which is obviously for selfies but you can use them for anything just because it's the selfie pack it doesn't mean you have to upload a selfie so um yeah selfie pack vintage pack and then boss babes pack which is like a combination of decor and 
um, food, but like they still work with selfies as well. Like they all work pretty much with any photo. Like you just got to play around with it. Okay. So I will start off by editing my most recent Instagram photo. So you can input all of your photos here. You just click on this top left icon and then you just select from your camera roll or you can either upload a video so you can actually add filters on your videos like I said before or you can do like a live. So this is literally what I can see right now in front of me. So for example, we'll go to my collection and see how you can like record. You can even take a photo. Oh, that's cool. I haven't actually seen those photos on there yet. My decor one. So you can kind of see that the marble and the peach are more decor based and then the coffee, almond, pancake, blah, 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 all food based. I thought that was a really cute pic of my acai bowl. Um, vintage ones look really cool at the beach, um, even on selfies. But yeah, they're real cool. And then these are all like my selfie ones. Um, so yeah, you can obviously like, <laughs> cute face. You can start recording like now and then it'll just save to your camera roll. Or you can post a photo, like do a live photo, go through the filters. Um, I don't normally do that, but that's an option for you. So I'm going to edit, what was I going to edit? This one. So you click on the photo that you want to edit, and then you're going to click the bottom left hand um, square, and it opens the image. So to access my filters, just click on the bottom left logo again, like the rainbow square. And then see at the top how it's got Bonnie, Clint, Brooklyn, Sawyer, and then me. So they're all the other influencer collaborations that they've done in the past with Color Tone. Bonnie's actually the owner. She's a photographer. She's actually amazing. I wish she was in Perth so she could um, be my photographer for my jewelry. But yeah, so you'll see my name there pop up. And there are all my filters. So obviously... They'll be locked um, until you buy them, but there will be one free, one or two free filters, we're not sure yet, um, available. So you can like have a little sneak peek before you buy kind of thing. You can like go over like the certain filters, but I think there'll be like a purchase or something like that. So you can still, I think, see what your photos would look like on the filter. There'll obviously be like a watermark or something over the top until you purchase the pack. So as you can see, all this pink is the selfie pack. It'll be highlighted anyways, like super easy. And then the vintage pack is all in purple. And then the Boss Babes pack is in blue. So that's the last pack. So I'll show you guys how I edited my Instagram photo, my recent one. So my favorite filter right now is Dreamy. So freaking nice. Like I love that you don't need to really do much to it. Like you put the filter on and that's it. They're really, really like subtle which I like, but you can also alter it as well. So if you feel like that's like too hectic, you can um, like decrease the intensity of it. See how you can do that. So if you just want it half, you can full. I personally like it full. I'll show you an example. So I feel like that's a little bit too full on the violet, but if you bring it down, it just softens it a bit. I also really love jazz as well. That's why I named it after myself because I really like this filter. So like I said, if you want a more vibrant filter look, put it on 100% or sometimes I do like 80, 85% to get that sort of look. Um, but yeah, I'll just go with this filter because it's actually really nice. And then I like the options at the bottom. So I personally don't use these lights. Like these just come like as an effect with the app. So they're not a part of my collaboration. But if you wanted to add lights, again, if you tap it, you can dim it make it less intense. So you've got like the lighting options for those that like to add those kinds of effects on your photos. And then the next one across is my favorite little addition. It's the dust. So I think these work so cool with the vintage filters, but I'm just going to show you guys what it's like anyway. So that's at the full intensity. There's so many different options. I think I like eight. I pretty much use them all. 12 is cool too. Um, so you can, as you can see, you know, make them like fainter, make them a bit more hectic, <laughs> just up to you really. But yeah, there's that option as well. I actually really like that one. It's really subtle. Um, so I'll keep that one on there. And then down the bottom here, this is where I was saying that you can actually adjust um, the colors in the actual filter as well. So um, for example, it's not I don't really tend to do this um, for selfies just because it can actually change your skin color like I'll show you guys. 
Uh, not really with that one, but see how you can see how the colour in the background changes? So you can like play around with that, alter that if you want it. See how that makes it sort of more yellowy? That sort of makes it more grey lightness as well. See how it's gone a bit darker? Can make it brighter. Um, yeah, it's mainly, like I mainly use this feature for like beach pics or, I don't know, like outdoory pics that I want to pop. But I don't really use this as much. See how like I've brought the saturation of the orange down? So obviously like there's orange on my face. So you can like, not that you would. <laughs> you can bring the saturation up on your face, down. Like if you feel like a filter's too bronzy or whatever. And you can always go in here and make it darker, lighter or whatever. If you want to make it, that's kind of cool as well. Then you can make it brighter or more tan using the lightness mode. Which is what I sometimes use if I feel like a filter is a little bit too pale. I'll go in here in the orange filter and just put up or put down the lightness. See how it's kind of made it. That's the, oh my god, look at the before. So to get the before, you just hold down the photo. Like that. So easy. Um, I'm just going to put it to like the normal setting. So if you just double click that. Hold on. There we go. I'll just play around with normal settings first. Then you've got these options here to sharpen it. I personally don't really use this, but sometimes if I feel like a photo is a little bit out of focus, I'll sharpen it a little bit. Um, I don't really use this feature, but if you wanted like that sort of look, go for it. Grain I like to use too. Like see how it just makes it a little bit more grainy. It looks really good on um, vintage filters. So like <laughs> that's, at the full capacity of grain, which I've never used. I just literally just do a little bit. See the difference? I don't know. It's kind of cute. Um, and then here again, I don't really touch this too much because it really alters the filter. So these are what makes the filter. So 50% exposure, 100% highlights, blah, 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 shadows. But if you do, see, if you like play around with it, if you did want to make your photo darker, I feel like that look is kind of trending I guess at the moment I personally don't really like dark photos the lighter the better but you can alter the brightness of your photos as well um yeah I just keep that pretty much on 100% or you can just lower it if you want shadows again I sometimes actually use this um and play around with shadows because it can um really bring out certain things in photos see how it's obviously not to that extent but you just play around shadows like brightening up shadows in like outdoory beachy pics look really cool so um yeah i'll just leave it there um and that's pretty much it oh and there's temperature and vibrance again you don't really need to touch this sort of thing but it's there if you feel like you need if you need to i'm just going to use normal settings tint yeah so yeah there's heaps of different ways you can actually yeah alter like I said before, I've gone through all of that. Saturation as well. Again, brightness. So I'll teach you a little um, hack as well. So I'm just going to go with that. That's just like my end image. I actually really like it. So like I said, hold it down for a before and then an after. And then to save it, I just go up the top, export, and then it will say export to camera roll. Sorry, save image. Going to show you guys a little hack on Instagram as well. I do this pretty much with all of my uploads. So even though I'm happy with the filter, it's all good. Love it. I still go in with the edit and then put the brightness up. Just like the littlest bit. It actually makes the biggest difference. Like look at the before. Still cool, but then like just to brighten it up that little bit more, I'll always just go in with the brightness on Instagram. Even if it's just like 10 See how it's just made that little bit of a difference? So I'll always do that, and that is literally it. So um, I'll do another type of photo. I found this one really interesting as well. So this is an image that a girl actually sent to me um, because I asked for, like, decor, any sort of pictures, and they sent this one of their baby room, which is super cute. So I'll show you guys the, like, decor pack. It's actually called Boss Babes, but so it's the last pack and I find that the marble and the peach work really well with decor picks. So marble, look at that. So this is a filter that I mainly use for my decor picks on my designs page that I haven't posted on in a while. But see how it just brings out all the whites. It's kind of like gray scale. Just, I don't know, it just makes it pop. It's really nice. And again, you can just lower the intensity if you don't like it. Shadows up. It actually looks really cute with the shadows there too. So nice. 
And then um, I'll show you guys the other filter as well. Hope this isn't boring. <laughs> um, the other filter is peach. So if you like that peachy sort of look, I feel like that's sort of in at the moment in filters. Like I've seen it a lot on Instagram. Um, these look really cute, like with food photos as well, um, as well as decor. So I made like a peach and then a marble. Obviously, like I said, you could use any filter with this. Like if you wanted that retro vibe, you know, you could literally use any filter you please. But those two are my favorites for decor. Let's go into this one. This is like my favorite photo. I don't know why. I just love it. I just look so happy. And yeah, it was just like a really nice day at the beach. Anyways, this photo inspired me to do the vintage pack because I don't know. I just love the vintage looking beach pics. They're just so cool. So I'll go up across to my vintage collection. Chanel is also really cool as well, even though it's in the selfie pack. But Chanel looks really cool like because it's like a vintage selfie vibe. Um, this one's my favorite filter. Look at the difference. It just makes it look like a Polaroid, old school vibes. I like to up the um, shadows sometimes on these ones. So like I said, you can alter it if you want to make it dark. If you want to put the brightness up, which is here, you can do that as well. Just depends if you want that like Polaroid type look. But yeah, that's my favorite filter out of the whole vintage pack. Actually, no, I like faded too. That's really cool. Oh, wait, no, I lied. I like jazz. I like them all. <laughs> I can't actually pick a favorite. This one's really cool. This one's like, I use this filter a lot on my Instagram. Um, it just works well with literally anything, even selfies. Vibe. And then retro for a more like, I don't know. What's it called? Like a violet-y look. Um, you could also use my decor packs on these kinds of photos if you like that white look. It just makes all the whites pop and it brings up blue tones. So that looks really cool if you like that look in photos. Peach, again, it's just, they're just so versatile. Honey is also really nice for beach pics. Um, yeah, okay. Then we'll move on to, should we edit someone else's photo? You know what? When someone sent me this, one of my followers, she actually messages me all the time. So she's probably watching this. So thank you so much for always messaging me. You're so sweet. Um, she sent me this and I was like, firstly, this doesn't even need a filter. Like, how amazing is it? But when I put my filters on it, I was like, wow. It literally worked with every single one of my filters. I was like, like going through trying to find a good one. Look at them all. How not? That is my favorite. I don't know why. I just love the whites. That one's really cute. That's really cool. Like, look at them all. They all look amazing on that filter without even having to alter anything. Love those blue ones. The marble filter, if you like that white look. Peach looks really cute. Also looks really cute on baby pics too. I don't know why. I, I used it on heaps of baby pics. That's a cute one. Like, just amazing. Oh, this one was really cute. Look at that. Oh, she's so cute. So this is a, one of my followers, Bubs. See? Oh, so cute. I'll show you Peach. This one. Oh my god. Stop. Seriously, the cutest. Um, this one looks really cool. Um, with my filters too. So... Angel, I just love Angel, um, especially for makeup pics. It just, if you don't want to alter the colors of the photo and you just want to make your makeup pop and just like really subtly, like as you can see the before and after, it's just really subtle, but it just makes a world of a difference. J'adore, love that one. Um, baby, bronze is really nice too. Um, dreamy is just, yeah. It's my favorite filter. It's just so nice. Um, I also love this one, which I'm pretty sure I used when I uploaded this photo actually. Um, so yeah, peach is also really nice too. <laughs> They're all so nice. So yeah, I will end that little segment there, but like, as you can see, it was so easy to use. Um, like I said in my Instagram story, so each pack will be $5.99. I wanted to make them as affordable as possible for you guys. So yeah, I found that really like reasonably priced for you guys. Um, I just want you guys to have bomb picks and I always get asked. So yeah, that's 
that's my filters and I hope you guys enjoy them. Like I said, they're available today. If they're not up yet, they'll be available in the next couple hours um, as I don't know what time we're launching yet. And obviously this is being uploaded in the morning. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my filters and make sure you tag me on Instagram if you use them and tag color tone as well because we would love that. Um, but yeah, I will leave the, um, link to download the app down below, but it's just available from the app store. If you just type in color tone, it comes up. It's just the, um, app with the, it's kind of like rainbow squares. Like you saw it in, um, those screenshots. Oh my God. So I'm just sitting down here editing the video and I don't even know where the footage went. Like after I said that, like it just cut off to nothing. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, Color Tone app from the App Store. I'll leave the link down below. Each pack is $5.99. Thank you guys so much for those that are going to purchase. Um, yeah, it really means the world to me. And I hope you guys enjoy them as much as I do. So I'm just about to have lunch. I'm going to heat up one of the meals that I got from Hale and Kale, I think. But oh my god. Falafel update. These are amazing. I don't know if you can get them anywhere. Like... I think they're just like HelloFresh exclusive maybe, but they're so yum and I can't believe I like them. And they're made of chickpeas, um, broad beans, spinach, onion, coriander. So I like hate all of these ingredients, but these are so yum. So I just chop them up and then just add oil to a pan and just wait for them to crisp up. But yeah, they're really nice with like some sort of sauce on top. So I'm having a couple of them. And then I'm going to heat up this meal from Hale and Kale. Actually looks really nice. I feel like some people might be triggered by these, but... Mmm, the hell. I'm going to heat that up for a minute. And then... Oh. And then this is the sauce that they give you. So it's called the... I've actually used it as a bloody chopping board. Holly Garang bowl with clean satay sauce. It did come with tofu, but I don't like tofu. So I took them out and added the falafel. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all put together. Oh, there's my falafel. This sauce is actually really nice. It's like a satay. Oh shit. It's like a satay sauce. Morning. I feel like this is like my go-to spot now. <laughs> um, so today, wow, look at my hair. What the hell? Um, today we're going to another dealership. I know. Just want to see if they've got the car that I want in stock. They've got one version, but they don't have the other version. But we'll still go see if we can test drive another version. How cute does my room look in this light? Um, before you guys ask, this top is from Grey Lines. And then these are my Kmart men's trackies that are literally life. And I'm pretty sure I made sell out. So... <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Probably going to make oats for breakfast. My skin's clearing up. Thank the fucking Lord. I just have like a few, um, I don't know, aftermath of pimples. I just did my skincare routine, which, um, is just, I just wash my face. I don't actually cleanse it in the morning. Um, so I just wash it with cold water, pat dry it, and then I add my, um, vitamin C moisturizer and then my SPF and then I roll my face over that because it's really like hydrated so I roll my face with the sea sun um, roller so non the non textured one um, have I even shown you guys that I think I feel like I have but maybe I haven't maybe it was on my stories I'll show you guys tonight anyways um, and then at night after I've done all my skincare I roll with the textured one and it actually makes my face a little bit red but yeah you can tell that it really like stimulates honestly biggest difference using it especially if you have puffiness underneath your eyes I find that when I wake up in the morning like I literally don't look like this um, after I roll my face, my face looks different. Like, I, I feel like I need to show you guys. Like, you know when you, like, wake up and you have morning face and you have, like, puffiness underneath the eyes? Putting a roller all over your face, like a cold one, literally just depuffs your face instantly. It's actually insane. I might show you guys that maybe next week. Um, but, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Hey, guys. Just got home. 
from, we went up to Mandra to that Mercedes dealership and just opening all the curtains. And we narrowed it down to two cars now. Although the one that I ultimately want, they don't have there to test drive. Like you have to actually order it in. And guess how long it takes? Six months. Literally six months for them to make it or not make it, but yeah, get it from, I think, is it Germany or whatever, overseas to Australia. So yeah, he's gonna see if he can try and find some here, like in Perth or in Australia with like the same sort of features that I'm looking for. So yeah, I don't know. We'll just keep you updated anyways. Um, but I'm actually about to do my friend Jade's makeup. I'm going to film like a client makeup tutorial because heaps of you guys said that they, oh, it's so bright. Heaps of you guys said that you missed them on my channel. So she's got like an event tonight and I was like, I'll do your makeup. Let me film you. So, so I'll show you guys a little before and after. Um, but yeah, I'm just setting up my room. I cleaned up everything last night. Just need to get rid of that. How satisfying. I've got the stool here. So yeah, I'm just gonna set up now. I'll show you guys what it looks like before and then after as well. Post some pictures on the gram so other people know just realized I forgot to wrap up the vlog, but as you could see, I did my friend Jade's makeup, so I added in a little before and after, but I'll have that up in a separate YouTube video anyways for you guys, possibly next week, but I thought I would end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's a bit of a long one this week, um, and my presets do launch on Color Tone at 5 p.m., today so i'll obviously remind you guys on instagram when it goes live but thank you guys so much in advance and i will see you in my next video bye guys